So hey everyone, welcome back to Rebecca's Carving Arts and Crafts. So I've got the majority of my puzzles now. Obviously there's still be a few more turning up, but we'll see. I'll probably just do a haul of them later on. Um, but I thought I would just do a bit of a, I guess, a haul of these ones. I think I've got one, two, I've got at least three left to turn up and I'm hoping to get one of those is an 18,000 piece puzzle. I'm hoping to get another 18,000 piece puzzle or something or whatever later on. But yeah, um, sort of work it all out, I guess you could say. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to, oh, excuse me. Sorry, I need to put my foot out because it's playing up. But yeah, so I just thought I would do a bit of a puzzle haul with this one. This Ajuka one did actually come with a damage box and stuff and I'm in contact with the eBay, eBay seller that did it now to find out what can sort of happen about that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, um, I still love to have it and I'm so grateful to have these puzzles. Um, you've probably already seen my first time lapse for the bottom one. Well, it's not a full time lapse, it's just a test of time lapse because I was doing it at the time. And so... The test of time lapse has um, gone up, but I will be redoing this one in a full video later on kind of thing. And recording it, I have started on doing my first um, time lapse puzzle um, video of one of my 1,500 puzzles. It's got a temporary setup at the moment just because of the fact that I guess it's kind of, um, the setup didn't work quite as well as, as, as me and my photographer friend was hoping so yeah we're working on improving that anyway but yeah so I just thought I would do a bit of a haul to show you these recent puzzles that I've shown, turned up so the first one that I've got here is New Schwanstein by 2000 piece puzzle by Clementini and I actually really love this one and it was I actually couldn't find it anywhere when I looked originally. Like I found, looked on eBay and everywhere and this one just was not available because I loved the colours of it and the details and everything like that. But it was not available anywhere and then I just happened to come across it at Sanity, an Australian sort of music slash game store. And they had this on there, reduced stock, reduced um, and limited stock. And so... I sort of grabbed it and snatched it up. I'll be interested to see sort of how some of these different um, puzzle brands work because I know these are meant to be high-quality puzzle brands like Ravensburger. So I'll be interested to see. <laughs> and, yeah, it'll be good. But I was so excited that I actually managed to get this one because the image is gorgeous and I just I really, really, really loved it. And, yeah, I feel very, very lucky to have it, basically. Um, so yeah, <laughs> and yeah, I just feel very, very happy to have that and, um, some different brands to try and things like that. And the next one I've also got is another Clementini 1500 piece puzzle. So you may notice I actually have, I don't think, I think I've got at least another puzzle coming with unicorns. <laughs> um, <laughs> I just seem to gravitate towards the unicorns and the African animals and that a lot. Um, I guess that's the fantasy stuff. But yeah, so I also got this Clementini 1500 piece image of our Oceanside scene with our unicorns and castle and things like that. And it's beautiful. Um, I don't think I can get inside right now. Let's see. Can I? Maybe not so much one handed. Oh, okay, I did manage it. This is what the inside looks like with the Clementini one. So it looks like it's sort of the grey puzzle back, not the bright blue like the Ravensburger ones. But yeah, um, looks, from what I can see there, it looks okay with the. Puzzle piece, I can't see much in the way of markings or anything. But yeah, Clementini is meant to be a high quality puzzle brand too, from what I've heard. So yeah, very excited to have that. 
and try those, obviously, because I did get some. As I said, I still buy the puzzles anyway, even if it's not a great quality one, because if I like the image, well, I like the image and I'll still do it anyway. So, yeah, and I worked out I've done, um, like, with my generic ones and that, I've done, like, five puzzles in the last two, three weeks, I think it is. Um, and I will obviously be going back and redoing those ones on camera later on. Um, but yeah, meanwhile, I just sort of, I guess I wanted to, well, I needed things to do because I'm not able to do reading as much as I want to and that currently because of all of this thing, because this is actually getting worse at the moment, so... Yeah, not good. I'm hoping I won't end up with any permanent damage out of it. It was even hurting doing a puzzle last night, which is not usual. So, and that was sharp pains as well when I was doing it. So I'm hoping I'm not going to end up with permanent damage because I can't get anything done about my foot and ankle. And yeah, as a result, my hand and wrist being injured, crutches don't help, blah, 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 as you all know. But yeah, so anyway, the next one I've got here is a Ravensburger puzzle, and this is Fairy Tale Fantasia, and is a thousand piece puzzle. Um, this one is actually, if I can get it open, it's slightly different to the usual thousand piece puzzle with what comes inside. So you've got our usual details of like our measurements and things like that. Please return the information on this pack for future reference. But this is an Amy Stewart image. Um, let's see, can we get... This is a very awkward one-handed. So excuse the awkwardness. Excuse the awkwardness. Ah, there we go. Yeah, this image is called World of Books. And obviously I got it because I'm a book lover. And I love the colours too. I love bright colours. Which you probably know is a fair theme of bright colours in the images that I have gotten. But we've got our usual pack here of puzzle pieces. But then underneath those puzzle pieces, as well as our usual information leaflet, shall we say, um, so our usual information leaflet. We've also gotten this special image with some information about Amy Stewart and our image. And just a bit of a note from the Ravensburger team. As well as we've got these um, advertisement for fun-filled comedy puzzles. I think it is. is cool so yeah the, um, this one it seems to be the ones that have the special colored lids that come with some um, slightly different features and I didn't see this one before Ravensburger collection 2020 so this is all the puzzle pieces and that I'm guessing that come out in 2020 We'll have 500 pieces. As you know, I tend to be the ones that do the thousand plus pieces. So we've got all these Colin Thompson ones. Myths and Legends, my mum actually got that one for me to do out there at the farm. And I also got this one now, but this one's still at the farm. Because mum wanted me to leave it there. And I'm getting distracted, aren't I? That one's pretty. And these are all the Disney ones as well, which I haven't gotten any of them because people are selling them at really 
expensive prices, which is a shame because I would really like them, but they're just way too expensive for my price range. So this seems to be mostly 1,000 piece puzzles, is it? By the looks of it. Because I think above 1,000 pieces sort of more our special collector's editions. There's a few 1,500s. A Disney Museum, the 9,000. I have seen that one, but it's not... Um, you can't regularly find it, and it's actually... People are selling that for a lot now. I do like this one too. But yeah, awesome to have anyway. And that's just a few little sort of, I guess, feature things we got with that um, this puzzle. But that I just thought I would show you that just because of the fact that it is sort of different to how the boxes usually come and yeah um the next one i've got and this is the one that i'm actually talking with the seller i bought it from i had to get this one from overseas because a chuka a juka isn't regularly available in australia and i wanted to try it out but unfortunately as you can see up here my box came like this um it was bubble wrapped and everything or wrapped properly and everything, but it's come like that. So I'm talking with the seller currently. But um, the Aduka one too, I noticed it did come with some puzzle fixative, two grand puzzle fixative, but I probably won't use that because I tend to redo the puzzles. But I got this, as you can see, another African animal image. But it's gorgeous and I just, I love the details on it. So... As you'll see, we've got a little hut at the back here with our monkeys and birds and we've got all these waterfalls and flowers. We've got like our jaguars or leopards. I think a jaguar's in the jungle, but they're leopards in the other. And monkeys, our antelope or deer kind of thing. Yeah, it's just um, rhinos, flamingos, hippos, elephants, giraffes. They're not giraffes, they're zebras. Giraffes are over here. Lions. Yeah, it's a gorgeous image. And yes, yeah, so I got that one. Um, I've still got one more Ejuka one coming. I'm hoping it won't also come damaged. But yeah, I'm waiting for it to arrive yet. And yeah, so I'm very excited to have that. And that's a 2000 piece as well. Next one I've got, I got, I only got one of these, but this is, um, as I told before, I want to try some different brands. So I got a lot of the Ravens Berger, which I trust and I love and I enjoy doing and just love doing, um, as you know, but I wanted to try some other brands too. And like, even as I said, cheaper brands won't stop me, but, um, these are meant to be fairly high quality ones, um. So I also got a Thomas Kincaid Sleeping Beauty puzzle by Schmidt just because I wanted to try a few of these higher up brands and see what they're like or whatever. Doesn't mean that I don't still do a lot of the Ravensburger because I love Ravensburger puzzles and all of that. And you'll see my final one is Ravensburger and I think I've got, I've received one Ravensburger that I'm not showing because it is a birthday and Christmas gift for some, a birthday gift for someone. So I don't want to show that on here. Um, and I've got at least one more Ravensburger puzzle coming, one Educa puzzle coming, and actually two Ravensburger puzzles because the 18,000 is a Ravensburger as well. But yeah, so I've got this Thomas Kincaid Sleeping Beauty, and this was the only one that I could find. I had to get this one from overseas. 
but it was the only one that I could find that was actually at a half decent price because I know that's one thing I've noticed with a lot of the Disney ones people just put an exceptionally high price on the Disney puzzles the minute they come out and they go on eBay or shops or anything and I guess that's to cover overhead fees but I'm guessing also because of Disney it's Disney and the Disney fees and all of that sort of thing so I love Disney but it's like I guess just a lot of the Disney puzzles I noticed just aren't affordable and as much as I would like them it's like a lot of them for the price of one Disney puzzle I could go and get one and a half of my other puzzles or one and a half of my I guess Ravensburger ones and I just noticed that box has a little bit of damage there so I was just pulling that off so it didn't keep peeling it, yeah so I basically I've only got one Disney puzzle at all like I love the reasons about the Disney ones and all of that it's just yeah a lot of people way overpriced them but yeah so we got this Thomas Kincaid Sleeping Beauty puzzle and this has all sorts of awesome things like the creatures Prince Philip's horse, Aurora in her pink dress, where they do the pink, blue, pink, blue, pink, blue. And the fairy's hut. You've got the castle and the village in the background. You've got Maleficent over here fighting Prince Philip. I think this is Maleficent's castle over here. And, yeah, it's just really, really awesome. Sorry for the reflection from the light. But yeah, I'm really, really happy to have it and excited to try this one as well. I've been loving doing my puzzles and I can't wait to do more time lapses and things like that. So this is 69.3 centimetres by 49.3 centimetres basically because they do it in millimetres. But yeah, so <laughs> yeah, I, I'm really loving doing my puzzles and I'm definitely going to keep doing them even once I get my hand and wrist better. Well, hopefully it'll get better. Hopefully it won't have permanent issues or require another surgery or something. But who knows yet with all that's going on with it. Um, but yeah, so basically doing that, um, I'm thinking I'm probably going to go back to bed shortly. Like I know it's early, but I'm just sort of not feeling the best and I kind of want to read, but the same time my hand and wrist just most days at the moment isn't up to trying to support a book even using um you'll see over there I've got one of those pillow pad things but I still have to hold the book on it with my hand and wrist so it doesn't sort of work as well as I'd like it to um it's really good for particularly for the iPad and things like that but the books you still have to hold the book open and just doing that kills my hand and wrist but yeah, this is the one that I recently, you saw my tester time lapse of that I happen to be doing. I happened to do a new record for this one. I finished it in about two days, basically. But yeah, um, I really, really love this puzzle and I love, I really love the images and stuff. On Online, when I got it, all, a lot of the images actually looked really washed out, but they actually, it actually isn't that washed out at all the colors are still very vibrant and beautiful and I love doing this puzzle and I'm going to um actually do a full version time lapse of this puzzle again later I just did a bit of a tester just to see how it would go and uploaded it just to see how it would go all of that but I want to do a full one later on kind of thing but yeah um yeah I just I'm I'm lucky to have the puzzle things to do, I guess, currently whilst I can. And, yeah, I'm just, yeah, I, I'm enjoying doing what I can do, I guess you could say. Um, I may not be able to do everything, but I'm loving doing what I can do. And, yeah, so, sorry, I'm just doing this on my bed. But these are basically all, most of the remainder of the puzzles. I'll show you the... 18,001 when I get it, as well as the next Educa one and my final Ravens, other Ravensburger one. Um, it's just another 1,000 piece unicorn puzzle again because I really love this one so much. And yeah, it was awesome. But yeah, so um, 
I'll show you those when I get them. I'm also hoping there's another two 18,000 ones. There was one 18,000 one that I had my eye on, and now I've got my eye on two because one is temporarily out of stock on Amazon, and it's not a bad price, and I'm tempted to try and pre-order it because I don't charge till you get it, but I've got to wait and see if I can get the funds for it. But, yeah, so these are the basically most of the last of the puzzles that – I've gotten lately and yeah um if you've enjoyed this please leave a like subscribe comment I always love hearing from you um yeah I'm just still uploading what um pre-recorded things I can as I can and doing my book unboxings all of that sort of thing as I can um yeah it's just I guess yeah, I'm very limited with what I can do with the art and the colouring. And once the art and colouring stuff, I'm spreading that out more because once it runs out, I don't know when I'm going to be able to do it again because I tried. And I basically ended up really upset because I couldn't do it at all. I was in too much pain and aches from the beginning and I tried pushing through and it didn't do me any good. So, yeah, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have... Please leave a like, subscribe, comment. I always love hearing from you and I will see you later. Bye.